Hi, I'm Amber Joy, and I'm Celine Jellybean's mom. And today I want to talk about the importance of accepting a helping hand. As a special needs mom, I definitely, definitely need help sometimes. And really any mom needs help every once in a while. And so I know it can be really hard though to ask for help. Um, for me, it's not actually so much a matter of pride, although sometimes it can be. It really is just that I hate to inconvenience other people. And I also like to, most importantly, do things myself. I have a certain way of doing things. I'm really a person of routine. I always have been. Celine's always had a really scheduled life ever since she was born. And the SMA diagnosis exacerbated that because there's certain things we have to do every day, like physical therapy, eating right. I wanna make sure she gets the most amount of sleep. And you know, having a routine really helps to do all those things. But I wanted to tell a little story about you know one time where I had to accept a helping hand. Um, even though I really wanted to do it all myself. And so um, when Celine was about two years old, um, a really good friend of mine was having a bachelorette party. I was one of the bridesmaids in her wedding and um, the bachelorette party was in New York and I vowed that I was gonna go to this party. I was not gonna miss it. You know, as a special needs mom, I have missed a lot of things or cut them short. I missed a lot of events and this or that because I really wanted to be by Celine's side, but this time, I really wanted to make it to this bachelorette party. It was a really good close friend of mine. And so I made the arrangements with my husband. He was gonna take care of her um, while I was away. Um, but a week before the party, my husband and I realized that we were double booked. He actually had a wedding in Chicago and I had my bachelorette party in New York. And it just so happened that our, our sitter that we'd normally use was out of town as well. And my mom and sister were busy as well. So this was like the imperfect storm you know, um, I had nobody to watch Selena. I thought I was gonna have to cancel the, the bachelorette party because I didn't want to just have like a random person come in and, and take care of her. And I was telling my best friend about this and I didn't even actually have to ask for help. She just volunteered to come in from New York. We were, we were in Philly at the time. Um, and she volunteered to come in and stay with Celine um, during the time so I can go to the bachelorette party. And I was really hesitant to accept um, because she had to come from New York and she also, she also didn't know Celine's routine and she didn't know her physical therapy. And I, I really don't like Celine to miss her physical therapy. Um, but my friend had a solution. She would come in a day early, learn Celine's routine and learn some of her physical therapy exercises so that she wouldn't have to miss them while I was gone. And so she did that. She came in early, she learned everything that she needed to do. And the next day off I went and I had an amazing time. And it actually turned out that Celine had an amazing had an amazing time. She actually loves my best friend, whose name is Lauren, and um, they had an amazing time together. And Lauren also enjoyed the one on time with one on one time with Celine. So it actually turned out to be okay. You know, asking for help was okay, and getting that help turned out to be just fine, even though sometimes it feels like it won't be. And so I guess my point is, you know, sometimes it's not even a matter of asking for help. Sometimes you just really should talk to people about what you're going through and some of the challenging challenges that you are facing and you just you don't know you know the help just might come to you before you even ask and sometimes you actually also do need to ask for help and that's fine too uh, i think everyone can understand that you know the sma sma diagnosis can be very difficult and it can be difficult to be a parent of a child with special needs but um people want to help even if you don't realize it. And so it's important just to let people know what you're going through and hopefully it'll work out for you as well. Just asking for help. That's it.